What's up everyone today we are talking about five small items that get a lot of use in my gym. So those of you who are familiar with my gym, you know that I have a one stall garage or two stall garage that I'm using one stall of for the gym. That means I have to be very particular about the items I include. So when I have items that are small but pack a big punch that get used on a regular basis, that is a very good investment of the limited space I have. So today we're gonna look at five items that I use regularly and I think you should consider including in your gym if you are in a similar tight space like I am. So stick around, let's dig in. First one we're going to talk about today are fans. So I have this guy that sits up in my rafters, takes up basically no space because it's not in the way of anything. I also have this giant fan, both of which I got on Marketplace. I've had this guy for a lot of years and it is awesome, but holy crap, does it take up space. Today we're going to look at a different fan, which is a recent addition of mine which we've been using a lot lately, which is this guy. This is a DeWalt job site fan. So it runs off of a 20 volt battery and then we can control the speeds with this dial here. So what I like is the fact that I can toss it here and use it with my FT2. Right. So it can shoot me right in the face, that's what she said, while I'm sitting on the bench, dumbbells, Smith machine work, crossovers, whatever it might be. I can take it with us, we can take it over, and I can set it right up in front of the rack. It actually has some um, pieces that come out so you can hang it off of various places as well. It's supposed to be for storage, but it works. Uh, you can move it and set it up. We often will set it up for jacks. So if he's hanging out down here on the ground, he can get his own fan and I can take it out and put it out on the truck and use it for sled and all kinds of stuff. It can even ride on the torque tank if necessary. So. For those of you that are dealing with the hot summer uh, temps and need a fan, this one's pretty cool. Uh, I got mine for 80 bucks on sale on Amazon. Uh, so keep an eye out on places like Camel, Camel, Camel uh, and other you know slick deals, stuff like that for when these might drop. Um, if you happen to be uh, a Ryobi fan, Milwaukee fan, whatever, they all make something similar. You don't have to go with DeWalt. You pick whatever tool family you're accustomed to. Um, but that thing has been getting a lot of use in the gym, even though we actually bought it to be able to take to my daughter's soccer games and stuff like that. So that's number one. Number two is the gym pin. So I got the FT2 at the end of 2022. Uh, one of the big reasons why I wanted to move towards this was because of the stack cables as opposed to plate loaded. It works better in terms of speed of use and adjustability. I find that I am more consistent with my progression models instead of just loading the plates that I have. I can go up little by little and different things like that. Regardless, the one downside of a cable stack is that you can max it out. Gym pin comes in handy because we no longer have that problem. So uh, a exercise that I have maxed out and have exceeded by quite a bit so far is leg extensions. So the FT2 will let you run cables to it to run leg extensions. Um, with the gym pin, I can go right in here and toss it in and then toss on a plate. So now I got right here, example, an extra 25 pounds. I can actually load up probably 
with my plates an extra 245s, maybe even three. Uh, with my weighted out plates, uh, definitely I could get 345s, and that's per side. So I can throw an extra gym pin on this side and do the same thing. So you're talking about an extra like 135 pounds, even on a two to one ratio added on. Uh, I get asked sometimes about the strength of the cables. Talking to Ben at Gym Pin, he has told me that that tends to not be concern, uh, of concern, that they are rated much higher than what they actually get used for. Obviously, you wanna do some research for yourself, see how that works. Worst case scenario, if you somehow manage to snap the cable, you can buy replacements that are stronger and higher rated, so you can make it work. So that is number two. I am using the gym pin probably two or three times a week for various uh, back, leg, and other exercises, even tricep extensions here in my gym. Number three is good old hitch pins. Now, there's been a big move in recent years to get rid of hitch pins and move to things like these surplus strength speed pins, which I really like. Um, they go in there nice and smooth. They got the magnet on there. They hold nice and tight, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, these work great for attachment use. So different J-cups, rollers, safeties, dip attachments, isolator, all kinds of stuff like that. However, I like the hitch pins still in addition to the speed pins because of their ability to use bands. So I use these uh, every day is an understatement uh, for stretches, warm ups, all kinds of stuff. It is the best place I have found to anchor bands of all kinds for warm ups. Things like triceps extensions, face pull variations, lat warm ups. Um, you can come over here and do crossover variations. If you've got two like I do, you can grab the other one and get in here. Pressing, throwing, all kinds of stuff. I even drop it down for legs. And we get in here and hit some hammies, some curls, some adductor work and even some extension work. So then that way we can warm up kind of all the different parts of the thigh as we move into squats and stuff like that. Number three is the good old hitch pin. Get yourself some good, easy, quick release carabiners, some hitch pins. You can get some cheap ones at Harbor Freight typically um, and get to work. Number four for me is the breath belt. Uh, I've done a full review a link below on the breath belt. You can see notes about guys like Joe Sullivan, other big powerlifters, Chris Duffin, who use theirs, uh, whether it's on walks, daily mobility work, uh, in the gym, warm ups under their powerlifting belt, all kinds of different stuff. Um, I tend to and like to wear mine every morning. I wear it while I walk my dog. Um, in the winter time, I tend to wear it under my sweatshirt for most of the morning. In the summer months, because it gets a little hot, uh, I tend to avoid that and it just goes on during my walk with my dog and then um, during my warm up. So I do like a morning mobility kind of session where I do some thoracic movement stuff, a little bit of core work and some ankle mobility. It's targeting kind of the key areas where I typically need to make more mobile or stable um, and attack those. So it's about 10 minutes total. It's enough to get me moving, feeling good, and then ready for the day. So I wear this literally every day, uh, pretty much seven days a week uh, for about a half an hour or so every day, sometimes a little bit longer. When I forget, especially if I go for any length of time, like I didn't wear it this last week because I've kind of been taking some time off of the gym. Um, 
I notice it. I notice my back gets a little bit tighter. I notice my hips get a little bit tighter. I move not as cleanly. Um, I even think this helps with digestion because it's kind of putting pressure on the stomach. Uh, my wife notices that while uh, when she wears hers that her midsection is a little bit tighter. So these are all kind of N of one anecdotes. So I'm not trying to claim that this thing is a wonder pill. Um, I'm not saying it's gonna shrink your waist. I'm not saying it's gonna do any of that stuff. Um, I have noticed benefits myself from wearing it consistently and noticed that those things tend to kind of disappear or flare up um, when it goes away. Uh, my wife in similar cases. So um, number four is the breath belt because I use it Number five, last on our list today, is the Prime Solos. So these are squat wedges that um, you use one per foot. So instead of a long uh, piece that has the same angle, you can set them up at the correct width. And if you happen to point your toes out a little bit, um, you can accommodate that. So toe out, toe out a little bit. These get used every morning as part of my uh, mobility work. So I mentioned that I do that every day. Uh, I include a squat hold. So I just get down in the bottom of a squat and sit there for about 30 seconds. Uh, with that, uh, we also use these, me and my wife, every time we do any type of kind of like static lunge. So I find that traditional lunges, if I'm not pain, just the 100% utmost attention um, aggravate my knees. They are a great exercise, they do all kinds of good stuff, but I can very quickly uh, turn them into something that does bad things instead of good things. So the squat wedges help alleviate some of that, um, especially as I get into the deeper uh, reps, uh, pushing the intensity, these help me um, not have to worry about my mobility and things like that as much. Um, that is the five items, small items that get used a lot or get a big amount of play in my gym. So I hope you found some of these interesting. Maybe you haven't heard of them. If you have any questions, leave them below. I will leave links to each of these items and any discount codes I might have for them as well in the description below reviews, that whole deal. Um, and yeah, if you have anything that you use, small items that get a lot of use, let me know below. Uh, I'd love to check them out if I don't already have them um, and you can share with other people. So uh, that's it. I hope you found this helpful, informational, good, whatever those you know acronyms, adjectives, etc. are. So that's it. Peace. still here. I'll go ahead and share number six with you. My massage gun. I have had a massage gun that I've used pretty much every single night before bed as my before bed ritual for multiple years now. I recently received the Bob and Brad guns. I have two of these. One's a smaller one. This is the bigger one. And I just finished a review on both of them that are up on my website link below but the gist is I use this every night as a way to kind of relax the body the muscles everything and set a uh, routine as I move into bed that is relaxful so I can get a good night's sleep so number six free for you for sticking around that's it guys peace